water park, and we are the only full resort property within the Six Flags family of parks. And the reason we can say that is because we have the Six Flags Great Escape Lodge right across the street. Who has uh, seen the lodge or stayed at the lodge or experienced the indoor water park? Fantastic. Yes, it's a beautiful Adirondack-themed lodge, uh, minutes away by foot, just right across the street from the Great Escape. It's a full indoor water park. Adventure Trek was new last year. It's an interactive uh, gaming uh, event that you can uh, enjoy throughout the entire property. And with, of course, banquet and meeting facilities. And if you stay at the Great Escape Lodge, you automatically get uh, theme park tickets as part of your room. So it's great value as well. And it's a, a wonderful place for your Lake George vacation. New for 2016, right. number one, actually number two after Jess. But uh, Jess, take it away. Greased Lightning. Greased Lightning. I'm so excited to bring this to you. We are introducing it this year. Um, it's the first of its kind to be a 50s theme um, thrill ride. It's going to seat 24 people, face off position. And we're going to throw you guys in a pendulum movement back and forth. And then it's going to have seven full inversions. So you better hold on to your change because you're going to lose it. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Grease Lightning is going to be right on Route 9. So if you're familiar with Martha's, uh, actually we have a little mock-up here that we can show you. This is, uh, in the back you may have a little trouble seeing uh, some of the details here, but uh, it's going to be right there, uh, right down the, the river from the Swan Boat uh, boarding area, if you're familiar with that location. Uh, there's, uh, Jess, you got these pictures, didn't you? This is, yeah, um, yep, I was out there in the rain. In the rain. Uh, you can see the, uh, uh, the boomerang coaster as we... Uh, have called it behind the uh, the pad right there, um, and here's some theming treatment. This is the entrance uh, sign for Grease Lightning. It's going to be all kind of race themed. Yep, the entire area is going to be rethemed to the hot rod inspiration of the ride. So we're adding a lot of elements themed. Um, you know, towards that ride we have the uh, signs going in, road signs, and then we have this huge. Um, what was on the last slide? Oh, we got some theming elements yes. here. That's what the nose cone is going to look like on so the ride. So we just got this in a few days ago. This is actually the front of the car. So you can see the car elements really popping out with the flames, and you're getting that greaser, dirtier side of the 50s. Kind of, yeah, kind of the sort of think about the movie Grease. That's, exactly. that's what we're going for, gearhead, greaser type of thing. Uh, and this is uh, actually one of the collection this year of these rides uh, is going to be uh, themed out, and that was not the case with the uh, Larson Loop rides from last year and now have them nicely themed. That's what it's going to look like as it sits uh, in the park from approximately the Martha's Ice Cream location. So it'll, it'll be big and bright, right in your face. Uh, wonderful light package as well. And here you can start to see some of the theming treatment that is going to surround the area. We're actually going to define part of this region, not including the swan boats, but kind of going down until the boomerang is Hot Rod USA. So it's going to include a lot of those elements that Jess just described. <coughs> Thunder Alley, oh, it's running away from me here. Uh, Thunder Alley is going to get uh, new signage, new colors, brighten it up. And we've already started work on the Thunder Alley uh, cars. Uh, it's kind of a slow car ride. Um, I'm not sure, is this Morgan? Did Morgan make this? Does anyone know? It's a nice slow uh, ride with some music that, that plays to you as you go. But uh, we've, we've added flames, and you can see the one in back there has a racing stripe, so it's just going to add to the environment. And that's kind of what the whole area is going to look like uh, in a little uh, artist rendition. So it's going to be much brighter, much more excited, much uh, much more active there at Hot Rod USA. I see that. Oh, the new revolution. Oh, goodness. Well, we are also bringing to you in 2016 the virtual reality coaster of the Stupid oh. Demon, um, as well as uh, Six Flags New England. Their theming is a little bit different. Ours is Jet Pilot. Um, you're, co you're the co-pilot of the cockpit, you're flying through the buildings, and you're taking on these drones to save the city. Has anyone had a chance to try the VR coasters at any of our sister parks yet? The, the reviews are fantastic, um, and it's really kind of uh, been sort of a, a surprise to, uh, to many who were not expecting us to do this, uh, as well as to those who have, have written it and have just been raving about it. So the uh, classic Steam and Demon is going to have the uh, new revolution experience available to you, uh, it's not going to be required, so you can uh, choose to put on the VR, uh, VR goggles, or you can choose not to if you want the classic experience, or do a little bit of both. And it is going to be completely tied to the location on the track. So the motion that you see with your eyes is going to be the motion that you feel in, uh, you know, with your inner ear there, so there's not going to be any motion sickness that's going to be uh, 
a fantastic experience, and like I said, it's getting uh, rave reviews as truly you know, one of the real innovations in our industry. We will be bringing this to you in June, late June. Yeah, late June, and for both of these new attractions, Grease Lightning and the new Revolution VR Coaster, we will be doing uh, season pass previews. So uh, May 21st and 22nd, we're going to preview uh, Grease Lightning if you have a gold pass. Uh, you get Saturday if you have a regular pass, you can come on Sunday and then it will open to the public. And a similar uh, process will play out again for the new Revolution. Also new, and Jess, you've been uh, uh, well involved with this, uh, Charlie's Saloon. Charlie's is one of our you know, historic areas of the park. We are re-renovating this to offer it to the public as an additional restaurant. Um, and we are bringing it back to uh, the old Storytown theming with the Western. Dan Grooves, our founder, Charlie Wood, really put his heart and soul into this. We want to give it back almost. We're going to see pictures and the bios of this story and everything else in this area as well. So it's up in Ghost Town. If you're familiar yeah. with the Condor Ride, it's going to be right next to the Condor. An indoor dining option. That's the small stage. We may have some uh, live music on there from time to time. There's going to be a bunch of TVs throughout, so kind of a sports bar atmosphere. Um, let's see here. There's a nice shot. Uh, you may not be able to see it so well in the back, but uh, the bar on the left, that's a nice wagon wheel with mason jar uh, lighting fixtures coming from the ceiling there. Really nicely themed. And that bar um, actually has a lot of history. I think Charlie Wood bought that bar himself somewhere in a far off land and brought it to the park. And it was in storage, and now it's going to grace our uh, Charlie's Saloon. Uh, those two paintings you see on the right, uh, have been in that building for uh, a number of years now, and those are actually Arto Monaco originals. Who's familiar with Arto Monaco and his work? He uh, helped design a lot of the original Storytown as well as, I believe, uh, Disneyland. I'm sorry? He also put together the Little Houses. Yeah, the Little, little Houses and a lot of the storybook type uh, parks up here in New England. Arto Monaco, I, I believe these, you know, the one on the bottom clearly is the interior of Charlie's Saloon as he envisioned it. So. Uh, these are going to be on display inside Charlie's Saloon and available for new generations to enjoy. And I have the menu. Oh, the game's good. Are you ready? Who, who likes to eat? We all like to eat. I like to eat. So it's going to be kind of a, a bar food focused menu. Nachos. Woo! Nachos. Mac and cheese. Let's hear from Mac and cheese. What else do we have? Boneless wings. Yay for boneless wings. Pot roast sandwiches. That's something. Soft drinks. Exotic soft drinks. Beer. All right. And perhaps for the first time ever, cocktails. So if you are ready for a specialty drink, let's say, you'll be able to pick up uh, the drink of your choice there, Charlie Saloon. Ooh. This is my favorite part. Um, I will start. Okay, uh, for those of you who saw our presentation last year, we uh, enjoyed the clown face. And this is what the clown face looked like at the beginning of 2015. Well, actually, yeah, right before the season started, actually. So we have a little... There we go. We always think he's kind of scared. Um, for Fright Fest last year, that's what he looked like. <laughs> so we gave him a little bit of makeup, and of course... But, but, you will not see the clown face in the park when the park opens in 2016. He will be coming back for Fright Fest, though. Don't worry, he's, <laughs> he's going to get a lot of uh, much-deserved R&R. Um, to sort of help freshen up some of the original themes of the park, uh, this area, if you uh, can envision the park, it's right at the end of the uh, Brown Bridge, which is the entrance to the fest area of the park. And so we thought, well, what would be a better introduction to uh, what is kind of an Oktoberfest sort of theme? Uh, but something that, well, again, it's kind of a recurring theme. Beer. So we have this lion who's going to take the place of the scary clown and welcome you to the fest area with a nice, big, refreshing uh, mug of beer. So that is another uh, original piece that we kind of found in the archives and has been uh, rehabilitated and is going back out on display. So, uh, you know, kind of a recurring theme here. Not only do we have fantastic new attractions, but we have, have a lot of history that. Uh, we uh, like to, to take um, care of and bring back because there's, you know, since 1954, so many generations have enjoyed storytelling with the greatest game. All right, so let's <laughs> History, speaking of, Jess, you know about this Yes, one. yes. Our, our lovely sign shop is cranking out those signs. 
repairing and creating new for the 2016, really bringing that color, that love back to the park. Um, all of Ghost Town, we're adding some additional signage on the, on the small signs up there um, to really bring out that, as well as uh, our uh, the animals. animals. The old jungle land. The jungle land is getting rethemed, repainted. All of the animals are getting redone. As you can see here, they've done an awesome job just bringing those back to life for us. Scary snake. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Good, big blue giraffe. That's along the train ride. So if you ride the train, you'll get to see the giraffe say hello to you. He is alive. Okay, thank yeah, you. Okay, that's good to know. And uh, perhaps you can confirm that on the train ride. Um, oh, and here we go. Comet. Comet. Yes. Comet. Comet. Who likes the comet? So the comet, just with these pictures, is getting some some uh, tender, loving care. Yes. A lot of its tracks um, throughout. Large sections of the park are getting redone. Um, we're putting in new wood, bringing in new vaults, everything. Obviously, we've got new old ones. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Historic vaults. Um, that is the camera drop. You can see the cameras yeah. there. So the stretch from about the camera drop up to the next high turn is getting fully retracked down to the ledger. In fact, the ledgers are being replaced. Uh, the seven layer track is being replaced with <laughs> nine layer track. So it's going to be a stronger rebuild. Um, and it's, uh, it's going to make for a much smoother ride. So if you, there's some of the old track that uh, many of you have enjoyed over the years getting replaced in the next room. And uh, Jess, you took this picture. You took all these pictures, yeah. Jess. And there it is with a little bit more wood on it. There's the high turn over by the station and one of the, the cops off of one of the, uh, the, the high turn by the wave pool. And uh, it's all. It's going to be a nice, nice smooth ride for us in 2016. So, oops. Special events. Yes, our special events. Well, we are opening early, one weekend early this season. So May 14th is our official opening day. And we just announced that yesterday, yes, as a matter of fact. So we're going to open on May 21st. Now you know. So if you're a skier, you know, it wasn't such a great winter for that type of activity, but it was great for our maintenance guys, and that allowed us to uh, open up another week early. So if you have your season pass, come and use it and break it in on that first weekend. Um, we've got uh, Grease Lightning ERT if you're a season pass holder, May 21st and 22nd, gold and then regular. Uh, Grease Lightning and Water Park will open for the season on May 28th, New Revolution in late June, and again, we'll have those ERTs available for pass holders uh, during that week, because we'll be open daily by that point. Coca-Cola July 4th Fest with some uh, music synchronized fireworks July uh, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. We'll love the roller coaster race. Nice roller coaster race. July 16th. It's a 5K. <laughs> Best marriage event. 5K. You can, you can run it or you can ride it. Right? Or you can ride it. So I uh, know everyone in this room is, uh, is uh, qualified regardless. Roller coaster day. Oktoberfest, September 17th through 25th, both weekends, music, food, and beer. And then finally, Fright Fest, uh, as always, we're working to make it bigger and scarier than ever. And that'll be every uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the month of October, plus Columbus Day Monday. And that is our agenda for the year. Thank you for your patience while we uh, got the tech 